Yeah. <sighs> health beats is the way to go. Health beats is the way to go. Health beats is the way to go. Health beats are the way to go. Hello, Crowfly. Didn't work really well. What's up, Crow family? How are you doing? This fine Martin Luther King weekend. I hope you're doing well. Today on Health Beats, we're going to make a Weezer demo. Uh, some of you got excited. We're going to make a Weezer song. No, no, we're just making a Weezer demo. Yeah. A few things I want to point out. Mono drums, kind of, I mean, they're probably nice quality, like 90s shit, depending on when this is recorded, probably early 90s. I'd even go as far as to say maybe late 80s. I don't know that much about Weezer. Probably not. Probably closer to like early 90s, mid 90s. I don't know my Weezer, but I do like the recording. You see, everything stays pretty much level. There's not that much dynamic range as there is in like the, the professional studio mix. And like, yeah, the guitars stay like the same volume pretty much throughout the entire song. We get a little bit of mix up when we go here. To the solo. It's as garage 90s as you can get, and that's why I love their demos so much. They also got a party that conflicts with you. This, like, Ariel Pink says he never makes demos. Well, it's. If this is the type of style that you would like to make yourself, then I tell you, it's right here. So, I got some lyrics. I have a song that I did before that I didn't like. I'm just going to redo them again. I got some drums pre-recorded. And you know me with the garage band drums. Let's... So originally they sounded like this. They just have that garage band tinge to it. So what I did was, again... I recorded all three in GarageBand, split them into stems, uh, put them in each respective track, and I put all of them into a folder track and made them mono so they're easier to mix. Be a little easier to make it sound like how I want it to sound. Because if you look at the, the demo, it's not super stereo. I mean, you got dual guitars. Yeah, like a kind of dirty but lower one here. And then you got like a, a kind of loud distorted one over here. It's a nice little mix. And that, I, I don't know, maybe you'd want something cleaner. And maybe that's coming like another day, but uh, I, I kind of prefer this style of mixing right now. This is dirty, it's as raw as it gets. there sounds like a trash can knocking that's like one of my favorite qualities we're definitely gonna try to carry that over i got some corny 90s lyrics just waiting see i added a little bit of rave verb. doesn't sound too good right now but uh just give it give it a second give it some love give it some time yeah let's get started I already have a tune in mind, so it'll be a little easier this time around. Boop. Okay, so we got our little thing here. I decided to go kind of regular for here. We're going to have these two on distorted and then these two on clean. And then these guys, uh, we do like a little switch here and then it goes like two semitones up. And 
And so far, that's what we got. Now it's time to do bass, and we're going to do that really quickly. Okay, now that we got our bass line sorted out, I'm going to start mixing the distortion just to get like a better feel of how I want to sing it. Uh, but like after I do that, then we're going to start doing vocals. Mm. Two seconds. Okay, so we got kind of a little, uh, whatever kind of mix. I don't think it's too crazy bad. I don't think it's the closest thing in the world to the demo material from Weezer, but uh, it's serviceable. It works. I'm going to do vocals now because that's what I said I'm going to do, but uh, here we go. Ah, ah. She... <laughs> Fucked up my, my voice really hard. hard. You're singing serious, serious business. business. Now that we got that out of the way, now we're gonna do dang old vocals, man. Here we go. Or not vocals. We're gonna do uh, uh we're gonna do more duet jams really quick with the artist goes to camps. We'll do one more of that because my, uh, I'm starting to sound like Larry David's friend on, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Hey, what does he say? He says, hey, Larry, Larry, why'd you go kill that swan? Uh, I could kind of, I could kind of talk like Chad Ward now. Yeah. P.S. Triple. P.S. Triple. <laughs> Let's do one more. Okay. She's in love with me Plus side to doing your own vocals like this. If your voice gets fucked up like mine, you're still getting over strep. You said each take sounds like a different person almost. Like I just got a raspy chorus. Find me. Uh, we're gonna do like probably two more in different semitones just to mix it up a little bit. I might I might throw like uh I don't know. I might throw reverb on it or I might not. I don't know. I might like 50s it up or just kind of leave it because I feel like Weezer might if 
if they were in there. I don't know. It's like, at this point, it's starting to turn into mine. And at this point, with what you're making, it should probably start to be turned into yours. You know what I mean? You're, you start stopping. You stop caring about being the source material and trying to add to it. So we're going to try to do that now. Do two more really quick. She's in love with me. Okay, so we got a full mix. This one didn't come out as bad as I thought it would. This one was kind of easy in some parts, hard in other parts. Yeah, this is a fun little earwormy kind of guy. Kind of close to the bass material. I mean, we can bass material right here. Feels a little more clumpy, I guess. I would use any kind of word. Then, uh, she's in love with me. She's in love with me. Actually, hold on. So, I got it kind of sounding closer to the original, kind of closer to this. I did, all I did was put the band track and the vocal track into another folder track and then I clumped up the high lows and the low mids and then I put a little more of a dampener on the highs. I tried to make it an effort to not use compression as much as I possibly could just because this doesn't sound very compressed. The Weezer track does not sound very compressed. It just sounds like leveling out uh distortion and vocals for the most part i honestly at a point felt comfortable leaving my vocals the way they were for like a period because I, I, it kind of just sounds like raw microphone vocals that were just leveled out like either in post or live whatever they, they were mixed whatever studio they did this in like their garage or something it sounds like a really sick garage mix, and then I tried to aim kind of for that at this. I don't know, here's, here's the full track, if you're wondering. Here. Boom, cue, cue the lights. She's in love with me. She's in love with me. And there you go. You have a little uh, planned out little Weezer guitar garage rock kind of thing. It's more alt rock. It's more like demo alt rock. Um, I'm not a genre head. I just kind of do what I like to do, which is what I encourage you to do as well. Thanks for watching again. Health Beats 5. Staying alive. Uh... Uh, see ya.